this year, throughout the entire year, the North Node is moving through the sign of Aries, which is a very entrepreneurial sign and is a sign around being independent, being courageous, and sometimes being a little bit aggressive in pursuit of the things that you want and desire to create. All right, up next we have Leo rising and sun. This Capricorn new moon is happening on January 11th in your sixth house of your daily routines, your work, and your health. What's interesting is I feel like what I noticed about the sixth house is it has this energy of a little bit of a journey where it's not an angular house, so we haven't yet arrived. We are in the process. We are in the discovery. And there's something about this where I feel like you guys are maybe in a interesting phase of your life right now and you're kind of seeing the destination that you want you're seeing maybe the relationship that you want the career that you want the success that you want the financial stability that you want the health that you want whatever this is and i feel like you guys might be kind of going through certain circumstances right now that feel like you're kind of questioning, am I going to get there? How much more do I have to put into this? Um, some of you guys on a more practical sense, um, kind of unrelated to the message that I was just going off about was, is the fact that you might have something new happen within the workplace. And so if you guys have had um, energy within work that has been either really busy or really stagnant or in any kind of particular phase where it's very clear of like, this is the energy of the phase that I'm in in your work or your health or your daily life, I could see that this phase is going to be shifting soon. And that's kind of what I'm saying here with, with this message ultimately is that you guys are coming out of one phase and into another, but you are still in the transition process. So let's say for example, you're working at a company and you've been having issues with your colleagues and it's been stressful for you, then that would be one of the phases that you're in. And you're slowly kind of coming out of that and into a phase where things are becoming a little bit more simplified and there is less tension. Um, another example would be if things have been really slow at work, they might start to pick up and become busier again or vice versa. So there's an energy of things starting to shift from one state into another state. And I really see that with this water card in particular, where it's talking about um, how water shifts states a lot and how things can be blocked and frozen and they can also flow and be really 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 rampant and I just saw two 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 so this also might be related to your financial wellness right now or um, to things that you own or your sense of stability and security there could be something in that area that feels either kind of stagnant or flowing and that phase could be shifting during this new moon. As a new moon in Capricorn, it's about having a plan. So it doesn't necessarily mean that we are um, resisting the transition state, but we're trying to have a, a plan for this process rather than not knowing where we're trying to end up once the phase transition is complete. So um, if you are kind of seeing things start to pick up a little bit and they're really stagnant or slow it's like how can we have a plan then for how to manage all these clients when we start getting more and more on our plates so that's just an example but I think you guys might understand what this is applying to when you hear this message um, but there's definitely something here where it's like the current way of you managing your life isn't going to work in the future this is a temporary phase and it's about to start flowing or maybe becoming more stagnant depending on your, your transits. Um, but I, I'm kind of getting the feeling for most of you guys, it's more energy and it's, it's flowing quite a bit, especially with Jupiter in your 10th house. But I feel like if things have been slow, like they're going to start increasing and you're going to need the vitality and the pace and the structure and the plan in place to be able to sustain the work, <laughs> to sustain the level of responsibilities that you're going to have, um, in the next few weeks or in the future. And, um, yeah, I pulled this Moldavite card, which is interesting because, if I'm not mistaken, the Moldavite is one of these gems, or I guess you would call it, that is actually from an asteroid. Yeah, from another planet. Um, and so it's really interesting because I feel like this is talking about things that are foreign, feeling like we're in a foreign land. And that's kind of the sense that I'm getting. I feel like you guys are going to go from maybe not having a lot going on in terms of responsibilities to things really starting to pick up. And then 
or just shifting in some kind of way and it's like that new phase or that new way things are is going to be foreign to you and you're gonna have to like reacquaint yourself with this energy and I just saw 444 there's something there's definitely something around like stability structure foundation money time management that's like really key here for you guys because this you're again you're transitioning off of one phase of responsibility and work and into a different one um and again i just and this could be health related as well so it's like maybe your health was like this and you're going to start um having more stuff to do and you have to manage your health like that or or you get a condition and i, mean, I don't really see that happening but yeah so it's like if you already have a, something going on with your health then there could be a phase of transition with that. And it's like, how do we manage this differently now that we're having more awareness around where we're headed? So have a plan with this, with this um, new moon, it's also making a square to the nodes and the nodes are in your, the south nodes in your third house, north nodes in your ninth house. So I really feel like, <laughs> I don't know why I just got this like message that there's something with these houses that feel like they're a little bit, um, especially the third house where they're a little bit reactive or they're just like trusting the process. Um, I'm going to trust that everything's going to work out or I'm just going to figure it out when I get there. That's not the feeling that I'm getting with this new moon. I feel like you guys need to have a plan. I feel like you guys need to get a little bit more organized, a little bit more disciplined, a little bit more structured because I think if you don't take these initial steps now when things are a little bit less hectic, I think they're going to increase and this phase of your life transition is going to be so different, so foreign that it's going to be a lot harder to navigate that once you get there and come up with everything on the fly and just trust that it's going to work out. We need a little bit more initiative and I really feel like that is kind of verified by Mars being in the sixth house right now which is saying let's let's get busy, let's get working, let's get clear, um, let's get motivated and Jupiter is trining, Jupiter is in your 10th house trining this Mars in your six. So I really feel like it's trying to indicate that there is an uptick in responsibility or an uptick in visibility or your career or your goals. Something is like flourishing. And this new moon is also trining Uranus in the 10th house, which could create really sudden change, things coming out of nowhere. So I just, again, it doesn't have to be that. I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of leaning towards for many of you, it might be slow amount of responsibilities to increase but I think it could be any kind of situation where things around your goals your objectives your career your authority figures giving you tasks like those things are all going to start to shift a little bit and you have to be prepared you have to be ready for what is to come and this Capricorn new moon is saying let's think about this like let's be responsible about this let's plan ahead Saturn right now is in your eighth house as well so this could be a time because Saturn is a ruler of this new moon so it's really significant here um to be kind of focusing on there's a couple of things this can mean but one of the things that I first saw was really getting clear on your money management really getting clear on paying off debt investing money into the right places making sure that you're taking conservative action um, kind of planning for your future and making sure that you feel quite confident in where you're putting your time and energy so that the things that you are dedicating yourself to um, they actually serve you in a long-term basis rather than just paying for things right away and then the money being gone so the Saturn here is like let's let's make sure that we have a stronger self-preservation um, kind of thing set up for ourselves Saturn is also going to challenge you as well so if there are things that you need to let go of if there are fears if there are insecurities if there are relationship issues if there are things standing in your way it's like we need to confront those now because as our life phase starts to shift and we start to maybe increase in responsibility or things start to just change in terms of how we need to manage our life we're not going to have the capacity, the attention, or the energy to fix up all these messes, to feel like we're going to have to, oh, sit and emotionally regulate about this anxiety that I have, or, oh, I have this issue in my relationship, and I, it's like, we're not going to have time to, to do that, so it feels like there's quite a bit of momentum here is really something I'm getting quite strongly, um, so I'd be curious if that resonates with you guys, um, but it's like, let's, let's make sure that we, again, are, are kind of, dealing with some of these psychological things or these things that could um, be like hurting our foundation, hurting our preservation. Um, so that could be, again, debt or things or fights or anxiety or whatever that is. It's like we want to confront that now to make sure we're really nice and stable so that we know 
what to do, what to focus on um, to clear up energy in that area of our life. I pulled the two of swords. So you guys maybe need to make some kind of decision. There could be something that you have been thinking about, wavering about, or maybe you just have a lot of options, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things to consider. And it's like gaining that clarity as well is going to be really important because with the nine of cups and seven of pentacles, I really see some wish being fulfilled. I really see some growth happening, some advancement happening, things picking up. That's really strong feeling I'm getting. I'm not sure why, but I'm just getting such a strong feeling that things are going to pick up right now. You're going to transition into that. And it's like, make sure that you have all your T's crossed, all your I's dotted, because we don't want to expand on a weak foundation. You also have Sagittarius, Venus and Sagittarius in your fifth house, Trine and Chiron in the ninth house. Um, and this really feels like part of that wish fulfillment and feeling more confident in yourself, feeling more confident in expressing yourself and your gifts and all the things that make you really worthwhile. Um, so I'm going to wrap up this reading by pulling a goddess card for you for the year ahead, Leo. So what's the goddess for Leo's year ahead? Who's guiding? Go what goddess is guiding Leo's for the year ahead? Just one, one goddess for Wow, there's, all right, I guess you're going to have three. So we have transformation, assurance in reverse, and then liberation. Wow, okay, so let's start with this transformation card. I really felt that for you guys, that you're going through some massive career goals and life expansion. And this transformation card is telling me that you're going to have to level up, that you're going to have to make certain changes to the way that you run your life in order for this to be facilitated. I really feel like you guys are going through some deep changes within yourself that are going to be reflected in the external world as some type of success or recognition and notoriety. The assurance card in reverse is trying to tell you guys that I think it's time to let go of predictability. You are a fixed sign. There's a little bit more of an attachment to what is known or to the past. And so we don't want to be concentrating on the good old days, on things of the past. We need to let go of the comfort zone. We need to let go of the, the baby blanket and push off into the wilderness. Um, we're not going to ever know how things are going to work out. So it's important here to take risks and not do things that are entirely assured. And it's okay if there's ups and downs with that. It's okay if not everything works out right away because I see overall you will be successful. With this liberation card, I feel like you're also going to be freeing yourself from things that have maybe felt like it was tying you down or have maybe felt like you were... Um, keeping yourself small, but there's something with this liberation card where it's like, you're finally getting out of something. If you were going through a bad cycle, you're getting out of that. If you were feeling broke, you're getting out of that. There's something here where it's like, you're being liberated from energies that have felt maybe a little bit oppressive or patterns that have felt quite stuck. So it's a year of really big expansion and I'm super excited for you. So this is all I have for you, Leo. Before you hop off, I want to let you know, I have two 2024 forecasts. One is a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. The other are a transit report on Notion where I have all the transits listed and their energy. So if you're interested in either one of those, if you want to dive super deep into your year, ask me all your questions, plan ahead, then you can book that reading with me down below. And if you want the Notion template, that will also be there. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below and share with your friends and have a beautiful new year. Bye.